Hi all, welcome to Santa Cruz. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. Now this is our main code. From heart rate monitor, we will be importing that heart rate function and therefore arguments will be applied. So read that particular data in the form of print section. Then after that, the sensor starting. From that, the raw data will be obtained over here. So until the keyboard interrupt is detected, the complete uh, section will be applied over here continuously. So here uh, you will be thinking how it will be working continuously because here we have not provided any of the while loops and all but that also will be working because inside this we have come initiated with while loop inside heart rate monitoring. So this completely comes under the while loop data. So now let us open. So hereby we have connected all the sensors and uh, one more thing here we have to enable that particular I2C to work under this I2C pins. So all the pins must be enabled especially one wire I2C. Now here we have that particular pin. So here the STA has been connected to pin number GPIO2. So this is that particular pin and SCL is connected to GPIO3 and 3.3 .3 is the power supply provided to the sensor. So due to that OS issue it is not getting the value. So the next thing uh, we can go with for uh, our own DHT. How to interface DHT into Raspberry Pi. I so will just make it as dh.py. This is the required one. So go for the terminal. So type sudo pip three install and have fruit underscore dht so why we are providing pip3 means for python 3 we are going to work so let us wait till it get installed So everything is installed. So this will be that particular code. So hereby, if you are just working on this particular uh, GPIO means, here we have to add that particular input data because through digital input only we are going to collect the data. So for that, what we have to add over here means import RPI dot gpio as gpio gpio dot set mode gpio dot bcm we are going to select the bcm part 
okay so from this whatever we are going to use that particular function is humidity and temperature read the data from dht11 okay dht11 from the fourth pin so on to our path the fourth pin is over here okay now let us just compile and see then we can connect our sensors okay so there is no errors error is there since we are doing it in python 3 brackets are must that's why it has shown us uh, error okay now it is perfect so now we can take our dst sensor the usual three pins so here by connecting vcc data and the ground so ground to the third pin vcc to the 5 volt and data to the fourth pin gpio 4 gpio 4 means this side fourth pin so the pin has been connected and just run the module now we will get the humidity and temperature so in this way only we will be working with all the digital sensors onto the raspberry pi okay participants if you have any doubts you can just post it thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you.